Usually by this time of year, we begin to have a decent idea of what's to come regarding the upcoming installment in the MLB The Show series, with info such as a new cover athlete, maybe even a short trailer, and definitely at this point, a release date. However, in what's been an exceptional year, where absolutely f***ing nothing has been even close to what we consider normal, we also have radio silence from San Diego Studios. Well, until January 15th, when they tweeted this. MLB The Show 21 news coming in February. Well shit, you wanna talk about anticlimactic? Just one little small tweet regarding the future of the series and there's still so many questions. When will the game be coming out? What new features are we gonna have? What consoles is this even gonna be on? The near silence is either terrible or fantastic news and I'll explain why for both of these views as we try to figure out why there has been virtually no noise surrounding this game whatsoever, and we try to piece together what exactly we should expect. So before we get to talks of expectations or anything like that, let's go ahead and try to figure out exactly what's going on here. Like I mentioned before, 2020, and now here the start of 2021, have been quite the shit show. Between most specifically Corona, and not to mention all the other fucking nonsense we've seen and dealt with, delays in products should probably be expected in all industries at this point. The dudes at San Diego Studios have probably been working at home since last fucking March, especially since they're based in California, and it's tough to make a game like that, man. There's absolutely no way this game's gonna come out in March, and if it somehow does, it's probably gonna be a buggy-ass mess. I think this reason kinda speaks for itself, and at this point should be kinda common sense. And secondly, if you look at the history of the series, the game never comes out on time for next-gen consoles, or at least on whatever their normal release date is. If you rewind the clock back seven years ago to when MLB The Show 14 came out for the PS4, Jesus Christ, I feel old. The game came out on April 1st for the PS3 and the PS Vita, a Jesus Christ, another throwback, and then came out a month later for the PS4, and even MLB The Show 7 was delayed when it came to the PS3, releasing almost two and a half months later than the previous gen version at the time. So unfortunately, if you think this game is not going to be delayed, then I have bad news for you, especially if you're on the PS5. But just because a game is delayed doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad thing. I mean, can you imagine what would have happened if Cyberpunk got released in March? That game was a fucking disaster now. Imagine months ago. Ago. Either way, what I'm trying to say is, a delay theoretically should only help make a game better. And this is supposed to be a big year for the franchise too, so they have to make sure the game is great. As far as we know, it's going to be the first time that the series will be on Xbox and Nintendo consoles, and you couple that with entering a big new console generation, they want to make sure they get this one absolutely perfect. This is not a scenario where you can leave a shitty first impression, and with the way sports games have been going the last few years, the show really needs to do something to set itself apart, and they could really stand out here. And to do that, they'd probably have to include a brand new huge feature but who the hell knows what that could be of course the one i'd say that most people want is stadium creator i mean we could literally customize pretty much everything else so why not throw being able to make your own park into the mix too and other than that i'm not sure what any big change could possibly be. Diamond Dynasty is already filled to the brim and honestly doesn't need a whole lot to improve. Franchises are right, but they never do anything for it so I wouldn't hold my breath. And Road to the Show needs to get a whole lot more interesting and I don't think they're going to be able to do that in a one year span. So it's not entirely clear what crazy feature they could be hiding or if there's even anything that we're going to be getting, which of course is very possible and probably the most likely scenario. But with it being so deep into January, and no news whatsoever, the tension's starting to build, and I feel like if something big doesn't happen, many people are gonna be left feeling pretty damn frustrated. And you know, I get not showing the whole gameplay because of obviously the next gen situation and the corona and all that, but the one thing that's throwing me off is the fact that they're holding out on the cover athlete. Like of all the things to keep secretive, why would that be one too? This is something that's usually announced in like November. The only explanation I could think of for that is that it's a really big like former player or legend that they want to keep as a surprise, but it just seems like such a weird thing to keep under wraps. But then again, what do I know? I'm just some idiot on YouTube. And as a side note, I think they're going to use Roberto Clemente. I mean, MLB The Show 21. He's number 21. It's almost too obvious there. Come on. But for now, we know nothing. No cover, no gameplay, no info. Not a zip, zilch, jack.
And it is weird because by now we usually have an idea, but hopefully for when getting an actual PS5 console is not a pain in the fucking ass and the baseball season starts up, this game is going to be a much needed distraction from what's been going on in the world of bullshit lately. And I personally cannot wait to see what we have in store in the next entry to the franchise. Also, Xbox and Switch users, that shit's gonna be dope too. That's all I have for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your predictions for how MLB The Show 21 will turn out? What are some features you wanna see in the game? And what console are you getting it on? Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out, stay safe, peace.